Hello, for this workout, you're going to need a chair, a couch, a counter, wherever you might be. We're going to do a standing um, leg circuit. So this is really, really great for my mamas who might be um, in the later stage of pregnancy. This is a great one. Birth prep workout for you. Um, again, anywhere along the lines, but really great for that. Or if you're postpartum and really trying to build up that strength again in those hips. Okay, you can choose to put a band on if you want. If you have one, that is an option. Um, if you have arm weights, you may do that. You may add some leg weights, but this is where we're going to be. So we're gonna do a warm up. So let's, I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. Let's just do some deep breathing here, some TVA work. And again, if you don't have the guidebook, make sure you grab that so you know how to really activate that deep core. It all comes from understanding your anatomy and the changes that take place. Once you understand how all of your muscles are connected and are working, and the changes that happen during that pregnancy and postpartum phase, you can adapt it to all of your workouts and making them safe for you, knowing um, what's safe for your body and what's not. I can't help you right now. We're gonna do going up. Do a little stretching. What do you need, Rosa? I told you, I, you cannot interrupt me right now, okay? Where is this? Okay, we're not doing one of your pet. Mommy took it down. I'll put it back up after. One more and up. Okay, so go ahead and grab your chair. You can put it in front of you if you want. That might be better facing Hi. this way. But I'm going to do this way just so you can see me. Out, please. I'm all up and look at Stop. So we're going to do a plie squat. So you're going to make a V. Well, so that's you can go up. up on your things. You're going to be grounded. I told you no. You can come up or you can just stay right here, okay? Making sure you're neutral. And we're just going to do some squatting here, okay? Really zipping up in those legs. Okay, yes. And if you're up here, keeping those heels together, really just bring that up, zipping up through the core. And if you notice, I'm not turning them, keeping a very straight line, ribs in. We're going to be here for 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, really squeezing guys. Four, three, two, one. Squeezing your muscles. Okay, we're going to do a rainbow. So flat foot, up. We're literally gonna be going to the back like this. My hip is not moving, okay? You're gonna keep it strong in here and you're gonna go back and forth like this. There we go. This is so great for the hip. Something we all struggle with as pregnant and postpartum moms. Our hips take a beating, so it's so important to be working that in the different planes of motion. This is one of them. Okay. So, where are we on time? And we're gonna do two more. One, two. Switch sides. Okay, here we go. And going, keeping that hip nice and still, really working that core. You're gonna feel it all the way up. And your range of motion might only be here and that's okay. Okay, go with where your range of motion is. I call these rainbows because it's like you're tracing a rainbow with your foot. Making sure your foot is, your toes are pointed. This knee is slightly bent. We're going to do 10 more. Do not. I lost my 
gonna count, guys. So we're gonna go four, three, two. Really feeling that glute stretch and build. Last one. Okay. Now we're just gonna do tap outs, okay? So a slight bend in the knee, and we're just gonna go out and in. Out and in. Slight bend in the knee. I'll show you from the side. So up. Remember, as you're coming, just think of like drawing a straight line in as you're coming in. Keeping this, your hips are not moving. Stable, stable in the hips. We're gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, switch, I'm gonna switch for you guys so you can see that. Bending. There we go, let me check the time, what are we at? Mommy, I wanna work out with you. Okay, go ahead, you can do what I'm doing. Tap outs, there we go. Can I do it even though I'm not going to do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now you're going to stand in the front. I'm going to go kind of at an angle so you can see me. You're going to go up on your toes, squat. If you're advanced, you can go up on your toes like this, or you can be flat foot, okay, if you need your balance. You're going to bend your leg, point your toe, and you're literally going to go up in a reverse like this, squeezing right here. It's not a high lift, okay? Literally right here, you're gonna go up. So it's gonna look like this. There we go. And kind of coming up on this leg as you straighten. Squeezing, you're gonna see that in that glute knee right here, the whole side of right here of your glute. There we go, nice. Squeeze. Squeezing, engaging. If you're breathing, connecting to your TVA, you are lifting and wrapping and squeezing that glute so hard. We're gonna go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And you know what's next. Okay, ready? Switch. One. I just gotta check my time out. Squeezing out. There we go. Yes. Feeling that. Kick back. I will move to the side so you can see. Watch out, Rosa, please. In the back. So it's not much of a, a lift. Squeezing right here. I need you to go on the other side of me. Mommy took it down just for a minute. Move, please, Gianluca. Out of the way. We're going to go for five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to go into a sumo squat. If you want to pick up your weights here, feel free to do that. Okay? This is our... Um, wide and what we're going to do is we're going to start here and as we go down we're going to rotate in so down twisting over the top there you go yes as you're going down in the sumo you're not here literally pretending you're squishing between two walls okay right here you're squished and they are squishing me. Squishing me so flat. No, I'm 
Rosa, you need to be quiet. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. All right. The last one we're going to do is a standing crunch. So, here you're going to be out. This really works your obliques and your pelvic floor. So you're going to be here and you're going to come in. Slight bend in the knee. Just keeping nice, nice fluid line down like this. There we go. And bring the knee in. Keeping your, your, don't be rotating side to side. Straight. Really keeping that hip not moving. And when you lift, you're closing. You're going to feel that engagement here. Swim your tibia. Anna, don't come. Excuse her. She's naked. We're going to go five. Four, three, two, one. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Yeah. Move, please, John Luca. For some reason, I can lift this leg higher. Each side is going to be squeezing. Inhaling, lifting, and wrapping on that. We're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. And that's it. Come back to this as many times as you want to. You can do it once or twice more. Making sure to end. You can take a seat on this chair and do some diatomatic breaths. You can take a seat on the floor. Whatever works for you.